I do so, love these pajamas, though. They're very nice. <laughs> and I <laughs> like your mug, too. Oh, that <laughs> looks so comfy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fucking. <laughs> I got dressed this time. <laughs> so, last we left off, you guys looted the bandit den. Uh, you guys found some some interesting trinkets. You found a wand and a scroll and some sort of amulet that none of you knew what it was uh so i'm sure that's safe <laughs> um and uh yeah it was looting time and uh Aaron got drunk again and left his battle axe behind so that was a fun time <laughs> so it's fine <laughs> Uh, and had a, a nice discussion of is it worth it to go and get this axe back and then Lish finally is like fine I will send my little fairy friends to go get it but you owe me big time <laughs> <laughs> um, for mudging and, and as you continued on your way uh, towards uh, towards Opius, I believe you guys decided to go around the lake rather than go over the bridge. And as you walked, uh, and not too far from where you guys currently are, you saw a gnome and a half orc. And the half orc has her hands on her hips and she's kind of looking down at the gnome. Uh, and the, uh, she has a, uh, a halberd strapped to her back. And the gnome guy, uh, he's got a bald spot and like curly white hair. Uh, and he's wearing a, a brown coat with suspenders. And he's looking up at the half orc lady while they're, and they seem to be having some sort of discussion. I love his little suspenders, oh my god. Does it look like a that heated discussion, like they're mad about something, or just like, talking? Roll an insight check. I'm going Shit. to join you in that insight check, I think. Go for it. Oh, you know what? I should have music. Music! Oh, Tobias isn't doing good today, boys. Uh, oh dear. He got an eight. Levy's enjoying the scenery. I'm not prepared. Run. Oh wow, that is um that is a uh a four. All right. Does perception so he got a four and uh Tobias, what did you get? Eight. Okay. Uh, you know, guys, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I mean, I, you might be too far away. Fair enough. Very fair. Uh, am I close enough to potentially be able to read their lips? What's the range on that? There is no range listed. It just says for the observant feet, if you can see a creature's mouth while it is speaking a language you understand, you can interpret what it's saying by reading its lips. Um, let's see, I'll tell you what, uh, roll a perception check just, just to see how close you are. What do your anime eyes see? <laughs> That's a 15. 15? Yeah, you're close enough. Um, so, looking at them, the, uh, the half orc is the one speaking right now. And she's saying, um, I don't think that we're well equipped 
uh, to handle this on our own. Mm -hmm. And uh, the gnome then re replies, I, but we have to do something. We, we have, we have to do something. We can't just leave it like this. Are they looking at something in particular? Are they looking into the lake? They're looking at each other. They're oh. having a the talk. Hmm. Well, I guess we get closer. <laughs> All right. Um, and as you guys get closer, the uh, uh, you guys kind of start to to notice more about them as you approach. The gnome is kind of. He, he's kind of older, uh, and the uh, the half orc. Um, she's she's younger, and she's not really. She's about six feet tall, which uh, isn't too tall for a half orc, because in my mind, half orcs are mostly like seven feet tall beefcakes. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> she, she's, she's still got that uh, like the muscle going for her but uh she's i don't know not not as tall as average condensed beef <laughs> <Ooh>. um <clears throat> well Samir is not stopping. She's just going to keep walking unless they seem like they're going to be trouble. Trouble. No, they're not going to be trouble. Looks like. Probably. None of them have made a move towards you. Um, but, like, as you get closer, they, they look worried about something. When they see us, I assume that they've noticed us by now. Do they seem to have any reaction? They have. Um, the uh, the half orc lady sort of gets a, a little bit defensive, but then relaxes when you're apparently not the people that she's worried about. Uh, she uh, <clears throat> the the gnome. Um, if one of you wouldn't mind rolling a perception check. Okay. That's a, That's a four. Fourteen. 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 Nine. Right. Oh wait, Nine. if I was, <laughs> if I have a natural advantage with that, do I roll again? Or is that only in certain situations? 23. Uh, what's Are you the... in your favorite terrain? Huh? Uh, what's the, the, the trait that's allowing you to have advantage? Uh, heightened senses. Heightened senses. Yeah, no, that's, this is, this wouldn't apply. Um, 23. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I know. All right. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, so, Lish and Erin, uh, you guys notice that on the back of the gnome's, uh, coat, there, uh, there's a sort of embroidery there, and it appears to be a pair of eyes surrounded by seven stars. Um, and, uh, the the half orc woman um her halberd seems to be more ceremonial rather than an actual thing you'd want to use for fighting um no i wasn't there and uh, the gnome, once you guys get a little bit closer, uh, 
you can you can actually hear his voice now, of course. Um, <laughs> Yay! Uh, hey, excuse me. Do you think you can help me out a little bit? What? What's troubling you? I and my daughter here. Uh, we are worshippers of the goddess Saloon, and we have come to hallow the ground of an ancient graveyard of her worshippers. I've had to return every uh, every year to to rehallow the ground, but uh, this year uh, there there has been some uh, some crypt spiders that that have infested the area. My daughter and I took care of the, the crypt spiders, but unfortunately the remnants they left behind, they still need to be taken care of. And I'm afraid that I need to focus my energy on being able to cast the, the spell required to cleanse the uh, land of the graveyard. Uh, and if someone wants to make a, a nature check to know about uh, crypt spiders, that's cool. I can. I'm that just am, trying I anything can. to see if anything works. <laughs> yeah, 21. Finally, the bias could be helpful. The I'm so proud. <laughs> no, no. All right. 21. All right. Dirt. All right. Uh, so yeah, you guys are are familiar with with these creatures. Either they're mostly found in different uh, in different tombs, uh, sometimes in ancient graveyards. But they come in and uh, try to feast on the the dead bodies that are kept there. Sometimes they can even be found on on battlefields after after a big battle has taken place. They come in and feast on the bodies, and when they're done feasting, sometimes those bodies raise up as uh, as zombies or ghouls. Mm. Creepy. Okay. Oh, that certainly sounds like a problem. Yeah, uh, could help with that. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping. And like the, the half orc woman, um, whom he gestured to when talking about his daughter, uh, uh, she she looks like immensely relieved. And she <laughs> says, uh, oh, thank, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate this. I'm, we, we are not uh, equipped unfortunately to, to try and handle the uh, these creatures ourselves yeah you have you have other stuff that you need to be focusing on and if, if there's anything we can do in re return um and that at this point the the gnome uh jumps in <clears throat> i'm uh really quite good at i i can help if necessary, I I can provide a little bit of healing, or I have been blessed through Saloon to study certain objects and notice their intention. Otherwise, I could ensure that if you should go down, uh, I, you are will be able to get back up. Yeah, <laughs> that would probably best. Yes, he's uh, reassuring. Sure. Um, uh, sorry, cut out there a bit. What's up? Yes, you can lead the way. All right. Um, so he starts. You guys have been following the path along the the edge of the lake. Uh, every now and then, there have been different branches off to the the paths that. Uh, uh, there have been different pan uh, branches that have been, have been uh, branching off and uh, either leading to farmhouses or what have you. Um, and he, he takes you one of these and he introduces himself 
as, sorry, my computer's freaking out. Uh, and he introduces himself as Lottis Periwinkle. Lottis Periwinkle. Lottis Periwinkle. And his I daughter love... is named Amela. And of course, now that you're Amella. closer and you've you gotten to see them a little bit better, um, he's, she's clearly his daughter. Uh, they have like the same nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I love that. <laughs> this man fucked an orc and I love him. <laughs> What's the daughter's name again? Mella, M-E-L-L-A. Um, Lotus and Mella Periwinkle. <laughs> Love that for them. Oh, <laughs> I love this. I love them. <laughs> I do love them. <laughs> They're precious. Um. And yeah, they're they're related. Um. That's his biological daughter. He fucked an orc. Good for him. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> Honestly, goals. This man <laughs> get it. <laughs> this man got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're so proud of him. Uh, so as he he leads the way, it's um starting to get like a little bit later in the day. Um, and as you guys are walking, he's he's cheerfully chatting with you guys. Uh, if there there's anything you wanted to, to ask him or Mella. In Opias, or oh yes, we're we're from Opias. Uh, we were sent here by the the temple uh, ev- every year, as I said, to refresh the spells. Um, I've been a member of the temple for my entire life. My mother was was a cleric herself, and I followed in her footsteps. What was the name of the temple again? Uh, he didn't say the name of the temple, but the or temple the, um, is the faith that they are worshiping. Uh, Saloon. Uh, and you can roll a religion check if you like to know a bit more about this this goddess. Yeah, uh, I. I'm. Good. Um, 15 sure. on my religion check. <laughs> yeah. 23. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Easy yeah. enough. You guys yeah. know about this deity. Um, uh, Saloon is the goddess of the moon. Uh, she is generally seen as a very, um, a very good deity, and she advocates for, um, she advocates for freedom and doing, just doing the right thing and, uh, just not exactly hedonism, but enjoying life, um, enjoying life, being happy, uh, freedom, all that fun stuff, uh, Sometimes no, clerics of her no, order, as, as uh, as you as know as this, rolling a, a 23. Um, sometimes clerics of her o- order, they tend to focus more on um, like stuff that can be uncovered or unhidden in the, in the, in the moonlight. Uh, so one of their domains is, is knowledge. Which is wise. Cool. Nice. Um. Yes. So, uh, um. as uh, Lotus leads the way um, down this path, it's it's not too far from the uh, from the lake, but there's this little small small little area it looks like it's surrounded by by hedges um, 
it, with the path leading into it. And that seems to be where Lotus is taking you guys. Um, yeah, to me, it's just making, like, polite small talk with him. Like, oh, like, you lived in the city your whole life. Um, that's where we're headed. Is there anything, any points of interest or recommendations for places to go? Well, of course, I'd recommend uh, my temple. <laughs> and, and I'm, once again, very grateful for your help. If you find yourself in Opius and you wish to visit me in the temple, I, I will be glad to meet with you again. Um, otherwise, of course, one of the main reasons that people go to Opius is because of the, the royal archives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> otherwise, mm -hmm. you can find. Otherwise, you can find many things in the city. There's, there's quite a few lovely parks in the area. Otherwise, if you wish, there's a, there's a bathhouse. Um, Do you by chance know of any hunters passing through the city? Inclined <laughs> thinking, or I could not. Yeah, let me let me roll for that. Let's see if, what he would know. Oh, well, there are uh, quite a few hunters of a sort that have passed through. Uh, are you looking for someone in particular? I am. His name is Officy. Hey, uh, I don't recall anyone by that name passing through in recent times. Tobias looks a little disheartened, but, uh, <laughs> or at least, like, a little saddened upon be, hearing I would rather be uh, having this conversation about riding a bike for Thank fun you, though. Than uh, a bike for at this point, <laughs> Mella chips in and, and says, I don't know if, uh, this helps any, but there was, uh, a man from uh, from the south that passed by uh, a, a while ago said he was headed north. What did he look like? Uh, he he was a, a human man, yeah, yeah. Um, and he know, had I, I dark like skin and and cornrows uh, and sort of pulled back thinking, into a, a ponytail. That's him. Oh, I, I, I'm only certain that's it. Where, where did he say? Did you know where he was going? Other than just north? He didn't stop to chat, I'm afraid. He mostly just came to the temple for information. What was he asking about? He was mostly yeah. asking about yeah. the uh, the city um, <laughs> and, is, though, but, and know, what sort know, of it's, things it's, have been been happening. Fun, it was he was sort of an old fellow. fellow. I, I he stuck I, out I, to I me because I, I recall I that he that I, I've often found, he didn't seem know, like he'd he'd time, been in town for all that long. I see. Is greater than the thank enjoyment you, thank I get riding down the other. Honestly, that was course. far better than Sometimes I was expecting. Sometimes it isn't. <laughs> Mellow roll well. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Woo! Um, if there's a gap in the conversation. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Levy speaks up and she says, um, I'm also, right. uh, kind of looking for somebody. Yeah, yeah, and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. All at right, right. Heard. And I also uh, understand how a, physics uh, works. A, a and I know that I'm expending the same so, amount of energy. Uh, he's, uh, <laughs> his name is Yay, Poet. Everybody's stupid. <laughs> uh, they both kind of think for a minute. Mm. I'm like, oh, 
Not, uh, not that I know of, uh, but I've, I, we, we get a few tieflings in every now and then, but no one by that name. Anybody from around, uh, uh, no one from that area for a, a while, I'm afraid. Dude, and, very, the thing about it is, though, like, very distressed, I, I and very downcast yeah. about this, and but she just kind of so nods. A bunch of people we know are, have ways. been just like, oh, that's really cool. Here, I got some stuff, you know, or I'll get, I'll get some stuff. For um, for so, and so like, oh, as you good. approach <laughs> the uh, the hedges, um, uh. Uh, Lattice says, um, well, here, here we are. I can, yeah, as I yeah. said, I can cast a spell that. on whichever of you, uh, thinks you most need it to ensure that once you, once you, if you fall in combat, you would be able to get back up in the next hour or so, um, Although, otherwise, uh, Mela and I will wait a, a short distance away, and and as I said, I would be glad to help you with with any information that you need afterwards. Of character, I would totally advocate for B in character, but considering that Ashlyn isn't here right now. That's probably not the best thing to do. Yeah, she didn't really sound like she wanted to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mood. So, you know. Fair enough. Um. Hmm. Well, the mirror is good. I think the mirror so. should have it. Right. right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many points <laughs> she has. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're out on a date. Not to me. I don't know how that fire started. I don't know what you're talking about. Let <laughs> me into the deal, and uh, you know, and we never. Oh, uh, unless it. anyone else has anything they want to uh, to pitch in. Um. No one wants. Can they cast that spell on Demir or no? <laughs> Not interested. <laughs> if no one else is Well, I'm I just I'm it. just making sure no one else has anything mm -hmm. to say before uh Lotus swoops in and casts Death Ward on on her. I mean I'm uh Demir is Demir's fine. I'm, I'm fine, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Demir's like, I'm fine, and Lucia's like, no, cast cast it on her. <laughs> uh, Tobias is going to speak up. Perhaps it should go to Aaron. Oh, um, I'm, Aww, I'm, I know that everything? last battle may have been, may have been an exception to that, but, but I'm usually, usually pretty sturdy. <laughs> Yes, but you yeah, also you're just don't like, have your axe. Now. Just give me the... <laughs> um, that is that is true. I mean, in in the stead of that, I have I have a a spear and a, a javelin um, that I that I can use. <laughs> I guess that's that's where I'm gonna be. <laughs> Thank you for when, 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 when Aaron is like, normally I'm pretty steady, Demir looks at him like doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Presses next Press. to doubt. Exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> Start spamming the X button. Love that. X, 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 <laughs> X. <laughs> you don't want to go frontline fighters. And you don't have the weapon that you're most comfortable with. I think it would be wise if you were the one to take it. Yeah, I mean, my, my if that's 
you know, if, I, if that's I, really I what we think really is, is going to be bad. Sense of style. Like, I don't think um, this one is going yeah, to Yeah, and I, I kind of still don't. Except that I've taken it's, the word I'm feeling a little hard to hear I, um, um, people yeah, over yeah, yeah, dad best, talking. But it's not really yeah. a style. Sorry. Thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was going to say push to talk. Erin <laughs> um, might need it more than me. Oh. You, you think so? <laughs> Lish is also press X to doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> um, Levy, you haven't said anything. How are how we you usually Levy's staring off into space it seems ever since <laughs> ever since she like could not get any like a uh, lo locale on on uh, or information on poet she's just zoned <laughs> with Levy <laughs> all right it's fair She's left the building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um. Oh. Yes. So, what's the consensus, guys? Oh. It's like, you're really going to take a <laughs> not version <laughs> from a, a young girl. <laughs> I have 54. You're gonna I'm, be fine. <laughs> I do not squish. And you mm. take it, you're gonna be just. <laughs> and I, I, would, I don't know. I kind of feel like the rest of y'all squish. Down <laughs> here's got like last I checked, she had 18 hit points like total. We did level up, but I don't think it's gone up much. So, <laughs> how many hit points does everybody have? Let's just do a roll call on on squishiness. Demir, Demir throws has... herself into combat with her 18 whole ass hit points. Come on, <laughs> out of character. Just... <laughs> <laughs> the mirror actually has 32 hit points. I oh well, it's gone up quite it's gone how up that now. happened. It it's gone up quite a bit, and I'm not entirely sure how. Did you up your con? Weird. I think my con that's... went up. Oh, that's yeah. well, that there you sense. go. Yeah. Well, that's respectable. Now I have 15. Every I have everything is 15 except for wisdom and charisma. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah, Why do you have such Chris, stats? You your nice. Last no. Up, then it would have gone up. Demir broken. Um, what does what does Levy have as far as uh, hit points? Twenty two. Yeah, you'd be the next probably we squishiest balling. one. Yeah. Especially since they seem kind of out of it. Oh uh, yeah, Levy's just like she's just. L Lish does not take back what he says, though. <laughs> knowing knowing Most understandable. knowing that information, Lish is still <laughs> pushing for it. My delicate flower. <laughs> and then Aaron's going to say somewhat under his breath, yeah, it might be best if it were, were her. Point at Levy. All right. Uh, She's like, uh, dear, is it okay if I if I put my hand on you? Just just very briefly. And he's, he's like, he's a gnome. He's not very tall. So he's probably like near your knee. <laughs> like, what? Well, like I mean, he's he's about half your size, but like he, if if he's reaching up like like this, the small man is touching. He doesn't want to put his hand on your thigh. That would be weird. He just, you know, he was just going to me. say, this is how I always imbibe someone. Fine. <laughs> who who is he talking to? Uh, like, he's talking to you, Levy. Oh. <laughs> uh, Maybe. hang on, I gotta fucking. It does not respond. <laughs> no. Does that mean she? Tobias is gonna gently prompt to Levy. Levy. How are you here? Sorry, what? Uh, uh Tobias is gently gonna prompt Levy. He's gonna he's gonna say, Levy, how are you here? She she kind of jumps and 
blinks and shakes her head uh, at the sound of her name and goes, um... Would it be... Oh, God. I... Listen, I really have to find him. We... Yes, but right now we're trying to deal with this. I... Maybe I just shouldn't. If I help you look for him afterwards, would you be willing to help us? I, she oh. hesitates, but she rolls her shoulders and kind of just nods and, and looks really forlorn and torn up about it, but she's she'll cooperate. Uh, Lotus at the, that point nods and he whispers a blessing of Saloon and puts his hand on on your knee and he casts Death Ward on you. So for the next eight hours, if you are are knocked out, you lose all your hit points. Um, that means you would, for uh, the first time that happens, you would automatically go back up to one hit point. I can, I can send you the information for that real quick. Do you like? Bam. Um, just in case you need it, but uh, but yeah, he he's uh, Lotus is a cool dude. He's he's like, hey, I kind of roped these randos into helping me. I I may as well help them out where I can. <laughs> um, Aww. So at this point, I'm going to move you guys to the graveyard map. Yay! Um, Excellent. You, you can feel free to arrange yourselves how you wish. Um, Tobias is going to stay near Levy. Yeah, but the the sun is starting to go down, and as you enter the graveyard uh, with Lotus and Mela uh, staying outside, um, you can guy you guys can tell that this is an old graveyard. Like many of the the headstones, which are here. That's this is that's the best I could do. Um, they're, they're old and, and weathered. Um, if you've ever been to a graveyard on the East Coast that let, that are like from Revolutionary times, it's got kind of that vibe to it. Um, and as you enter the graveyard, you can tell that something is kind of off immediately. Uh, some of the graves, such as this one, this one, this one, and this one, the earth is kind of churned underneath it. And then others, where you see the gaping holes there, uh, those are just open graves. Uh, and meanwhile, there are a couple of mausoleums over here. And the the gray little gray lines there are are the doors, the mausoleums, um, and the sun is starting to set now. Good boy. Good boy. All the uh, crypt uh, crypt spiders were killed by uh Mella. Yep. That's right. Okay. So all that's left is just the undead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. And there's no undead in open view. Uh roll perception check. Come on. I'm gonna join you in that one. Now. Wow. Maybe not. Yeah, that's a five. Demi, you're feeling pretty comfortable about this whole thing. You're gonna know, <laughs> this is you know, great. It's a great old graveyard. This is fine. Nothing creepy here at all. 
I love lots, it. There's lots of uh, like cool history oh. probably you can look at. You can That's take a rubbing. One. Oh. That's gonna be a two. Uh, Sorry, lad. Frank, frankly, Tobias, you're not even sure that undead exists. <laughs> oh my god. Tobias is too busy. Damn, the dumb bitch is back at it again. <laughs> I just want to say I love and support Tobias. <laughs> About a dumb Tobias himbo. Is a real fucking MVP right now. <laughs> Making sure that Levy's good. Cannot tear yeah, she's, eyes she's away from Levi. She's basically just gonna like huddle as close to him as possible without actually physically touching him. <laughs> All right. So, do you guys try to to look around and explore? I don't, I don't see any undead uh, here. I don't know what we're looking for. <laughs> I rolled. I rolled a nineteen on my perception. All right. For nice. looking around. Uh, right now it seems to be pretty quiet. Right, you yeah. can't see anything, but there's sort Samir, of an eerie silence. Samir is going to go over to like, um, what? It, oh, I cannot seem to grab her. Um, I can grab Levy, but not Samir. Weird. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Demir just took, takes Levy for a fucking walk. Mm -hmm. I, I'm now. Levy <laughs> <Levy's laughs> up, puts her, puts her in her bag. I, I have become Levy now. Okay. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Okay. Um, Demir's going to go over to this grave and just kind of check it out. See what the, right. the dates are on it. Raw investigation check. Oh my god, I don't know which dice to roll to keep on the train me. Ooh! Um, that is a 23. 23. Um, this, uh, so as you're kind of looking around at the stones, you're noticing that there are, um, a... There are a lot of like the fam familiar names, like same names among the the different graves. So it's clear that like that at least some of the people buried here were all related. They were a long uh, line of uh, saloon worshiping people. Like uh, this grave has the same name as uh, this grave, and this here is like one of those um dual person couple graves uh mm. and like it then there are uh yeah the and the dates seem to get more recent the closer you get to the front of the graveyard so the oldest part of the graveyard is over here by the mausoleums Mm. I'm about to do something stupid. Oh um, boy. Aaron's going to walk over to this grave and check it out on the like ch the churn dirt grave. All right. Um uh, roll investigation. All right. Um, oh wow, that's number 23. Two 19s in a row. <laughs> 23. So you kind of uh, stand over on the grave. Do you stand on like the edges or do you stand on this these parts here? I mean, like the polite thing to do is to not stand directly on the grave, but I don't know if Demir gives a shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm asking essentially. <laughs> Hmm, let me let me roll to see if Demir gives a shit. Um, yeah, okay, she gives a shit. She's just she like she's kind of on on the edge of the side, you know, like kind of not entirely on the respectful like distance okay. side, but you know, she's like not standing directly on the grave. Yeah, I I I just need to know in terms of uh 
trying to to figure out the description um yeah so you kind of kneel next to the grave and you're you're looking at it and you're looking at the grave itself and the dirt and how it's been churned and you're noticing how loose the dirt is and there's something kind of off about it and you take a moment to think about it and you realize this grave is empty whatever huh. was here is not here anymore great cool great. found our undead what is what is the name of the undead that we are going to be fighting this evening uh, let me see if I can find a name. <laughs> um, Charles Rickenbach. <laughs> Charles. So this person's name, um, this person's name is, uh, let's see. Um, Aldith, uh, on say. Aldith. All right. Well, I'll type that Aldith out. Aldith is walking around somewhere. Oh, joy. Um, oh, is anyone keeping an eye out at all? <laughs> I am. Okay, I would like roll to. perception checks. And okay. There. I'm moving up a little bit. All right. That's gonna be a six. Tobias, your attention is mostly focused on Levy right now. Okay. Twenty natural twenty six. Does the All alert right. feed only uh, activate slash come into play and stuff once uh, initiative slash combat starts? Because I know one part Let of me it look is up the phrasing on that. Because I know definitely the first part um, is, but I'm not sure about the second. You're always on the lookout for a danger. You gain the following benefits. You can't be surprised while you're conscious. You gain a plus five bonus to initiative. And other creatures don't gain advantage on attack rolls as a result of being hidden from you. Um, so you, you can't, that means that if someone would get a surprise round on you, they couldn't. And oh, right. Now that you say it, yeah, now I remember. Cool, 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 cool. Just making sure. All right. Um. So, Lish, while you're hanging out here, um, Lish's anime yeah. eyes see all. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. they, they really do. Um. You uh, you're hanging out keeping an eye on Demi right, while also scanning the graveyard while the last rays of sunlight are starting to disappear behind the, uh, the hedge. And it's at that point that you start to hear a weird sort of sound. Uh, there's some sounds that sound like growling and there are some that sound like low throaty chuckles. <laughs> like a nice kind of growling, like a familiar puppy kind of growling. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> like um, the growling stomachs of the undead wanting to eat our flesh. The growling. <laughs> more likely. Well, not, not exactly like that. It's more like a wolf pack getting ready to descend on something they're hunting. Oh, that's right. much Where better. Where it's coming from? Is it coming from underground or in one of the- Since you rolled so well, the 
growling is coming more from from these areas whereas the chuckling the throaty chuckling is coming more from closer to the mausoleums can i try and see i mean i don't know how far away or anything can i try and like focus in on the chuckling sounds sure um the yeah the the chuckling sound they're closer to the mausoleums uh do you get closer to the mausoleums nope <laughs> nah. okay um i probably can't gonna... see anything if they're like behind the buildings in this twilight yeah, and for his part is, you know, he's glowing now. He's glowing? Glowing. He's a glowing shadow. Don't worry about it. Listen, you just can't gonna... contain such fabulousness. <laughs> he's going to take out his spear, I think. All right. Mm. Tobias... Anything? Don't uh, think so. Tobias is going to have his bow drawn and he's going to um prick his thumb on uh the shaft all right uh mark and down I that will... damage yeah i will roll through that damage do, 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 do. if no one's stopping her it's just gonna keep exploding I mean, no. Lish is definitely gonna be like, hey, do you hear that? Do you hear the growling? There you go. I was, <laughs> I was waiting for you to actually tell people that. Uh, I mean, he's very uh, much on alert. You kind of reaches a bit for for Demir and says, "Don't go too far. They're coming from either side." Can. Something. If I stop and listen, can I hear the growling? Uh, roll perception. Right. Oh, natural twenty. Ooh. Yeah, you can hear the growling. You can also um, hear the uh, the chuckling. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> now that you're not so Thank zeroed in on on the dirt of this grave, I, I imagine you've been kind of like. Hmm, interesting. Bones <laughs> 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 over here inspecting the grains. <laughs> yep, yeah. that's dirt. You're to kind of take a, a little bit of a step back. She's not behind Lish, but she's just, you know, stepped back to his to his uh, side a little bit. Oh. All right. Um. So at this point, I think I'm going to have everyone roll for initiative. Just for funsies. <laughs> wow! Do I have, do I have a disadvantage on in initiative? <laughs> because my poor character is zonked. Um, let's see. Ooh, hang on. Girl 20 is doing weird things. Why do you do this to me? Uh, I just wanted to start initiative. Goddamn. <laughs> you ask, honestly. No, okay. you, you may not. your bar lower. Um, all right. Wow, nice. Now it's not showing me anything that you guys are doing. That's great. Oh, God. <laughs> Scary. Thanks, roll 20. <laughs> well, you're going to have to tell me your numbers. Uh, Erin, what did you get? Uh, 18. All right. Check mine in the chat. Uh, Tobias, what did you get? 19. Uh, Demir? Four. Four. Okay. Uh, Demir was way too minute. interested uh, in that dirt. And was completely so surprised. interested in the dirt <laughs> <laughs> when suddenly undead showed up. Fucked up about uh, Lish. 
Uh, 21. All right. Uh, Levy. I, I wanted to ask if I should have disadvantage on that because Levy's soft. Yes, I think so in this particular instance because you, you had bad news. Oh. Okay. Well, that's a, uh, that's a seven. <laughs> okay. Oof. Uh, Ashlyn, do you want to come and roll initiative real quick, or should I do it? She feels like dirt, but she's sure. not preoccupied with dirt, so. <laughs> <laughs> not really not right, right now. <laughs> you can be preoccupied with dirt later if you want to. I support you. She might. Who knows? <laughs> Clearly, Demir has a thing for dirt. I mean, she married Lash. Oh! <laughs> 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 I love you, Kathy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo, that's cool. He is a good boy. <laughs> I will you keep fight telling all yourself of that. You, <laughs> you keep hey, telling I didn't yourself say that. It. I didn't even agree with it. I just said that Jameer fired a fucking shot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to have Ooh, these lovely you. gentlemen emerge from the bushes because that's what they were doing and that's what kicked off Chop that heart turn order. I had just neglected to put their fucking tokens on the uh, on the map, but that's okay. It's fine. It'd be like that sometimes. This one's coming out of the mausoleum, so he can be right there. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. <coughs> uh, and I suppose I'll make them be on the turn order too, so I don't forget. Um, Bastard summoned. And here you go. Let's see. The ghoul. Two ghoul for school. All right. <laughs> you are yeah, disqualified but... from participating in this combat. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Lish fucking knocks Demir out. <laughs> <laughs> No puns allowed on this battlefield. <laughs> Fair and All right. completely valid. We all take 12 psychic damage from the pun. <laughs> don't, don't put me down to 10 hit points. <laughs> Demir should have thought about that before. <laughs> Motherfucker. Before committing war crimes. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta commit war crimes and that's how it be. All right, Lish, what are you doing? These assholes started emerging from places. Oh, Christ. Can I see uh, the one that's over by the crypts? Is there one that's giggling, honestly, or is that source still unconfirmed? Yeah, uh, there's this dude. He's He's... Doing the creepy low throaty laugh. <laughs> yeah. I do not like that. Do not and like then that. he he's there too. He's also doing that, but he's behind a building. <laughs> okay, boomer. Does he need a throat? Does he Does he have a cold? <laughs> It's the yeah, COVID! Like like <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, kill him fast. Look, I do my best to make sound effects. <laughs> Wonderful. Honestly, uh, super uh, creepy. I don't know if. Um, anyway, I've noticed of late. Since uh, whatever, I'll probably have to sleep it anyways. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use Ice Knife on. Yonder ghoul. What's my range on this? Sorry. We got six to butt. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm making a ranged attack against this ghoul right here. And 
and I gotta make a sp uh, I gotta make a hit. Mothers and fuckers of the graveyard. And that's a pretty good roll. That is a 25 to hit. That hits. And yep. Fuel takes eight damage. Yeah. And All right. is but this school over here within like I five feet of this one? That Would you say? The, uh, the uh, this the dude now. Okay. Well, and so I'm kind of pleased about that. If it, uh, it would have taken damage as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, and yeah, so it takes I would, I would uh, <laughs> eight points of damage. It's kind of the point of playing games. All right. I'm going to bonus action turn into a claw. Well, winning supports the overall thing. You're going to turn into to Populish? Yes. Okay. That's going to be my turn. All right. Um, so, Tobias. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. Turn to combat music. Or not Lish. Uh, Lefty did not roll that one. Yeah, she did. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so I see where a couple people. <clears throat> Wherever you go, Lady's gonna try and follow simply because Tobias is the. the uh... Did Lady imprint on Tobias like a duckling? Tobias okay, is currently good. the one her her crazy brain is latched on to, so. Tobias is just gonna move a little over here, not stepping on the grave. Um, and he's gonna shoot at that ghoul that's straight in front. Uh, this guy? Okay, the one that lists. Hey, hey, hey. All right, uh, roll to hit. Eighteen. Yeah, that definitely hits. Roll damage. Sick. Okay, they're so they're ghouls. They're not very two, strong. Three, that's a five. Yeah, they're and not then plus the extra d four. <gasps> a baby. Baby time. Eight damage total. <laughs> All right. Apparently, it's the day of eight damage. <laughs> <laughs> Is he wearing his new clothes? Um, yes. All he right. Is. You can't see because he's a black cat and it's black, but he is very cute. So, uh, Toby, when you hit this ghoul with your with your arrow, it recoils and it goes. <laughs> oh, another baby. Tobias is going to make a disgusted face at the sound. He's like, it's like don't do that. Please. <laughs> All right. Uh, Erin. Oh, good. We up. All right. Um, Let me double check my distances. Come on. Yeah, okay. That's going to work. Aaron's gonna run up to here. Hi, Lish. Um, and throw, throw his spear, uh, two-handed at uh, this this man, the one on the left. This gentleman. Yeah, yeah, that one. All right, roll the hit. All right. That is a natural one. Oh no. <laughs> I must, we are not good with our spear boys. Yeah, no, I, I, that does not hit. Wow. Uh, you you can go to throw your spear, but you kind of do that thing where like you don't let go soon enough, so you kind of just stab it into the ground in front of you. Well, Rip. Please tell me I saw this. <laughs> oh yeah, you're Literally you're right, right here. 
I'm looking in the opposite direction. <laughs> I just hear this thunk. Her perception is look really And good, I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> can, can I say Levy saw that? Even though she's a little zonked? Yeah. She giggles. <laughs> I'm much better with a battle axe. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so. Is there a kitty baby? Another baby? Yes. Baby. Oh, baby. I'm playing with my shirt at the moment. Baby. Baby. Together, Baby. this this squad here has Halloween cats. Got two black cats and then an orange one. Wherever the hell he went. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Let's see. Uh. So the. It is now the guests' turn. Oh, great. Um, mm. gonna, gonna do some measuring Uh-oh. real quick. Okay, so uh, this guy is gonna use his whole turn to get right here. <laughs> ah. he's, he's double dashing. Um, and this guy is gonna run up too. There's, <laughs> <laughs> I do not want what you're selling. <laughs> On top of um, Demir, he's soliciting. Yeah, he's he's he ran out from behind this building and just yumed up. Can he double dash? They both double dash because they can't. Nice. They weren't gonna be close enough to do anything otherwise, and they're they're guests. They're like, "Hey, it's free real estate. It's food." <laughs> so, you know, Are you going to grab um, her? <laughs> no, no, they can't take their at their actions. They they double dashed. They have a movement of thirty, and they were a little less than sixty feet away. So they moves their movement and then their action, so they can't grapple. So. Right. I'm just he's on the same square that Demir is, and I don't can't be on the same one right no he he's right in front of her oh yeah well, it's, it's on my screen that he's on top of her Where? on my screen he's uh, in front. uh he, I, yeah. i'm not sure sure what you're seeing much i'll uh but it probably um but this is where where they at right now uh okay uh and then the Ghouls. Um, them. Let's see. They also gonna move. This is what happens when undead exist and start swarming people. So this guy's gonna try to run up to Eren, but he sucks, so he can't. <laughs> That's um, so sad. He tries and then he just eats shit. <laughs> Yeah, he's not he's not gonna double dash. He's too he yeah, he he can't think of that. He's got um, a bad knee. Uh this dude, however, is going to approach our lovely friend Toby. Mm. Um and uh this dude I, yeah, they, they do have a speed of 30. Um There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Demir, but you just chose like the worst spot to stand. <laughs> it's fine. It's, this is fine. <laughs> um, okay. It's a good and thing I didn't take so, that death ward. Yep. Uh, so the ghoul that's going to attack uh, that's next to Tobias is going to try to attack. Um, Which that's natural one. So I, I'm assuming that even if I did math on that, that didn't hurt, uh, didn't hit. Uh, and then for the one next to uh, Demir, um, oh. I assume eleven doesn't hit. No. Okay. No, it doesn't. Uh, so these ghouls run up and they both try to take slashes at you with their claws, but. They suck and they miss. <laughs> um, they both think they're slick, but they're not. So it's B's turn now. Um, 
So I'm going to have her put her spiritual weapon uh, right here. Nope, not right there. Right there. Uh, and she's going to try to attack the ghoul that's attacking Demir. Um, so let's see. Uh, what's the stuff on that? Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, that hits. So that's a D8. Ooh, B is doing well even though she's not here. Nice. <laughs> um,. <laughs> Eight. So that's 11 damage on that guy. Um, all right. Bringing him down to 11 hit points. Uh, all right. Uh, it's Levy's turn now. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see. Alright. All right, cool. We're we're doing good. We're zonked, but we're not too zonked. Yay! Um, she's gonna come up right beside Tobias here. Uh and she is going to uh Use her her new fang <coughs> spell from leveling up, and uh, she's gonna cast. Hang on, let me fucking get the goddamn thing. Use roll twenty for actual good. <laughs> um. So basically. <laughs> Um, on this dude, uh, she's gonna cast Cloud of Daggers, which is just the, that cubic squ uh, square there, where the, where that ghoul is. It's just, it's filled with, like, a few knives now. Um, and it's very stabby. Alright, is that a, uh, saving throw you have to make? Or a, is that roll to hit? Uh, hang on. It is basically it's it's just if a creature enters or starts their turn in the in that square, they just take the damage. Okay. Because they're it's just it's a cloud of knives. Okay. It's just a bunch of fucking floating knives. So like the knife storm in adventure time. If you walk into a knife, yes. it stabs you. <laughs> He ran and then into he my knife, knife ten times. Time. Yeah. yeah, that's it. It's that <laughs> as a spell. Um, okay. So, mm. um, with I guess with would casting it on the space count as him entering it? Uh, no. It, he would have to start his his turn in there. All right. Well, there's knives. Yay! Wait. Knives. Yay. Um, How big is the knife radius? Are are any of us? It's just in... the one square. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Uh, so Demi, it's your turn. But since you're next to a ghast, I'm going to have you uh, make a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> Yay! Um. Oh, that is uh, t ten. Ten. Just barely uh, passes. <gasps> okay, good, 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 good. Um, okay. Oh boy, there are two two of them on on either side of me. That is not great. Um, Bless you. <laughs> Sorry, my cat just literally threw himself down the stairs. Um, I am going I love to... cats, don't you? <laughs> yeah, they're very weird. 
Um, I am going to <clears throat> try and slash at the guy in front of me with my hand axe. Him or um, him? He, he, the, the boy. Hold on. Let me. The guess. That boy. Yeah. That okay. boy in front of me. Um, that is a uh, 17 to hit. Uh, that hits. Cool. And he is undead, right? He is indeed. Cool. So um, that is five points of uh, damage from the the axe, but then um, because he is undead, he gets he takes an extra three points of damage from the cold iron. All right. I see. Yeah. Uh, Lish. Oh, sorry. Were you all done? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm done for now. I'm, I'm just okay. going to hang there for a minute. This is fine. Uh, Lish, you are also going to have to make a constitution saving throw. Because. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Con save. That is a 16. Yeah, you're good. The the gas smell really terrible, but you guys are able to to shrug it off. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna chomp on one of them, and I think I'm gonna chomp on Iswan that Demir just hit. All right. Uh, 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 uh. I wish D and D Beyond had roll it to hit on wild shapes. What do I add? It's, all right. That is going to be a, a sixteen to hit. Yeah, that hits. Chomp, chomp. Awesome, and that is a. 2d6 plus 3, let's see. Not bad. Uh, is gonna be 13 <laughs> damage to that ghoul. All right. Uh, well, the ghast. Uh, these, ghast. ghast. <laughs> these two are ghasts. The other dudes are, are ghouls. Down one. Um, <laughs> all right. That's my turn. Cool. Uh, Tobias, there are some dudes in your face. Yeah. Um, because Demir has gas on either side. Uh, gonna go for uh, attacking the one that is right there just above him um, to the right of Demir. Okay. Um, uh, and what weapon are you using for that? Because I believe if you tried to use your bow here, you'd have disadvantage. Uh, since he's in five feet of you. Would it be possible for Tobias to um, switch to a crossbow? That would also give you disadvantage because uh, it's a it's also a ranged weapon. Uh, that makes sense. You you could back up, but they would get attacks of opportunity against you. <clears throat> um, actually, would Tobias even be able to back up because there's a ghast above him, a, a ghast to the right, tombstone behind him, and then leaving. You could move. To... You could move diagonally. Oh, uh, I'm dumb. Can't you also move uh -huh. through? friendly spaces mm -hmm. but once you're leaving the uh the five foot area around each monster 
they would get an attack of opportunity against you. You can you can risk it, or you can stay put and try and use uh, a melee weapon. <laughs> hmm. Well, you see, Cap, uh, Tobias mm-hmm. doesn't have a melee weapon. You don't even have a dagger? No. At least not in my inventory. Not that I look in. Oh, no. Oh, no. She has a quarter staff and some fucking knives on her. Uh, if you... If you want, you can... Is it possible to shove a gas back? Uh, I mean, yeah, that would that would be a chef attack. You just punch him right in the face. <laughs> yeah. Is um, it, can it shove him a space back? Hang on, checking the, the rules. Uh, using the attack action, you can make a special melee attack to shove a creature, either to knock it prone or push it away from you. But how far away? That if would I mean, pushed... um, the target must be no uh, more than one size larger than you and must be within reach. Instead of making an attack roll, you can make a strength athletics check contested by the target strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics check. And the, the target uh, chooses the ability to use. If you win the contest, you either uh, knock the target prone or push it five feet away from Okay, um, and then, so that would count as my action, and then for a bonus action, would he be able to draw and hold an arrow? Uh, That would count as holding an action, so that would not work. Okay. Uh Um. Shit. <laughs> I don't want to leave Levy exposed, though. Hmm. She does have that, that spell on it. Okay, fuck it. I'll be smart about this, and I will take, I'll step diagonally. Um, All right. They're both going to try for attacks of opportunity. Yep. Uh, So let's see. Uh, Does an 18 hit? Yes. And does a 14 hit? No. Okay. So only one of them hits. Um, So that's... Six damage to you. Okay. Uh, Tobias is going to aim and shoot at the one that's next to Demir. All right. I don't know what that happened, but okay. Oh, Oh, shit. That's going to be 12. (laughs) Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, his armor class is 12, so he just barely. Ooh. Roll damage. Three plus three is six, and then plus the extra 1d4 because of the blood thing. That'll be eight. Eight damage. All right. He's looking rough. Um, all right. Uh, do you do anything else on your turn? Uh, no, because I don't think there's anything else I can do. All right. Uh, Erin, please make a constitution saving throw. Can do. Where's my... There we go. That is a 22. Yeah, you're good. The gas, the gas that's next to you smells really fucking awful. 
but like you're you're a barbarian you've you've smelled worse things <laughs> you remember earlier back when i was just kind of in a puddle of vomit drinking yeah i'm fine right now yeah <laughs> Uh, how much effort is it going to be for me to get my spear back? Um, I mean, you can retrieve it. All right, that's probably what I'm going to do. Let me think. Um, and then actually, I'm going to go for this guy. All right. I think. Yeah, one of the things that I watched right. recently, mm -hmm. I, uh... And we are severely disadvantaged. And that is fun. At, at one point, are you raging, like by the way? Eyes, no, not currently. Okay. Know, and That's a 12. The other three uh, yeah, that hits. Letters I have oh, yeah. uh, assuming you're hitting uh, this guy? Yes. You know? Yep. Okay. And yeah. So, and that's gonna hit four. Oh, great, thanks. Uh, three damage. Um, All right. Uh, do you do anything else with your turn? Um, no, I think that's probably everything I can do. Okay. Uh, so it is the gas's turn. Um, so the one next to Demir uh, is going to uh, try and slash at her with its claws. Yeah. Um, that's cocked. Um, so uh, that's a uh, 20, I assume? Yeah, that hit. <laughs> okay. I'd, I'd like you to make a constitution saving throw. Yay. Uh, 14? 14, yeah, that saves. But you, you still take damage, but you're not paralyzed. So you've got that going for you. Good, 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 um, no. And the letters that I got. And you take 10 damage. Ouch. Okay. And Ooh, then uh, this one here, that puppy just bit it. It's going to try and attack the puppy. Uh, Bite it guys. back. Bite it back. <laughs> um, yeah, that was actually one, two. So let's see. Uh, I assume a 10 does not hit. It does not. No. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, now it is the ghoul's turn. Um, so ghoul number one is going to try and hit uh, uh, hit Levy because she's closest. Oh, it also takes damage from being in the knife cloud, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, knife time. Woo! Yeah, 44, baby. Oh, nice. 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 It's a bunch of knives. <laughs> it is a cloud of knives. So I guess we should say knife. Uh, that's eight. Yeah, it doesn't get to take a turn because you fucking killed it. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, but so. I literally. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, no. We lost one, Jim. Okay. We'll come back to. Uh, okay. I literally rolled four, four twos. Oop. Oh. Yeah. Well, he, <laughs> he had only six hit points left. So I'm like, there's a very good chance you could kill him this turn, or there's a good chance. You could not kill him this year. <laughs> well, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah he, he's fucking dead. Uh, and Good so night. the other one is going to go for Demir. Uh, that is a, let's see. Also, I'm going to break that concentration since the thing it, that was in the square died. So no more knives. 
All right. Aww. Um, Demir does an 18 hit. Yes. Okay. I, I uh, squish. Let's see. So that is... Well, uh, please make another constitution saving throw. Oh, um, that is a uh, 18. Yeah, you're good. Uh, and you take eight damage. Okay. Uh, and then this other gentleman yeah. is going to go for Erin here. Yeah. Um, Surprise. So that's a 15. So 19, does 19 hit? 19 hits. All right. Uh, please make a constitution saving throw. All right. Uh, where's the con? There we go. That is an eight. Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, you are paralyzed, my friend. <laughs> oh, no. But I don't um, like being paralyzed. So you take eight damage on top right. of that. Uh, and I will mark down that you are paralyzed. Um, let's do you, what, which one best encapsulates being paralyzed, I wonder? Uh, you can be screaming. <laughs> um, <laughs> like that. <laughs> um, all right. So it is... B's turn now, and B is going, she still has her spiritual weapon up. Uh, she's going to leave it right where it is and going to use it to attack the ghoul that's attacking Demir. That does not hit. Um, Levy. All right. Um, can I draw my two daggers, move, and then attack? Is that allowed? Yes. Okay. So Levy draws both of her fucking knives. She conjures Go knives. Levy! She had knives. She's, she's knives. <laughs> Secretly, uh, she has been knives all along. Maybe they're real knives. Uh, she's gonna draw her knives, go forward, and uh, I guess roll to attack. Uh, yeah. Fuck face McGee over here. <laughs> <laughs> Make him regret his life decisions. Death decisions. His on life decisions, at least. Oh, God. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's, um, that's a nine. Yeah, no, that isn't it. <laughs> she whiffs it, but she, she tried. <laughs> that's All what right. matters. It's the thought that counts. Do you yeah. do anything else with your turn? She says, damn it. <laughs> All right. Good. Uh, Demir, there's this guy on you that's looking rough, and then there's this guy that's looking less rough. Eek. Um... <clears throat> This this guy damaged me, right? Yes. I am going to hellish rebuke at him. Um, All right. Is that a saving throw or, or attack? Let me check. You point your finger, creature that damaged you is momentarily filled with hellish flame. You have to make a dexterity saving throw. All right, let's see. What do you mean the creature is briefly filled? That with is a natural 20. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Percy Dice. <laughs> that creature just gave you the double finger. <laughs> you still take damage, it's just half as much. Yeah, um, well, he's not looking so good anyway, so you could probably kill him. <laughs> uh, that's 11 points, so half of that is uh, five? Yeah, he's dead. Oh, awesome. He does this sweet backflip and then dies. <laughs> <laughs> he gives you the double finger. He gives flips you the double bird as he sinks back into the ground. Um, <laughs> dies from spite. I mean, honestly. Um, then I'm going to swing my axe at the guy in front of me. Um, 
that was cocked. Um, that is okay. Um, I, I don't think that a um, yeah. math. I don't think that an eight hit. Uh, no, an eight does not hit. I'm afraid. That's okay. Cool. Um, it's the thought I'm, that counts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, then uh, I'm going to stay right here. All right. I'm, it's fine. This is fine, guys. Uh, Lish. Yay, so I'm going to bite the one that's by Demir again. All right. You know, they, they, mm -hmm. they strike me as the kind of people who will fall to hit. Against, you know, yeah. Yeah. 17 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. Mm -hmm. I tried to run some smoothness, so it wasn't always exactly. And that is 10 damage. Chomp, chomp. All right, he's still up, but he is very unhappy. He is not not looking good. Um, I think that's all I can do. And then we have. Is it considered a creature? Yes. Oh, I actually, if the target is a creature, it must succeed on a DC 13 strength saving throw or be knocked on the All right. Uh, that's a natural 15. Okay. Well, um, anything else with your turn? All right. Uh, Toby. <laughs> oh, boy, Toby. You're ready to hopefully not disappoint. I sure am. Is that possible? <laughs> uh, he's going to aim for the uh, gas that is to the left of Lish. All right. <laughs> That's going to be a 21. Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's going to be 13 oh, no. damage. All right. Damn. He's still up. Oh, my God. How dare he? Rude. Uh, it's only been hit like once, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Rude. Um, Erin, it is your turn. You are paralyzed, but at the end of the, your turn, you can uh, roll another saving throw. All right, I would love that. Fuck me. Mm. Okay, that is a seven. Oh, you're still paralyzed. Rip. Womp. <laughs> All right. Womp. So, um, this guy, even though he's looking rough, he's gonna uh, gonna try to attack Demir again. I assume an eight does not hit. No. Uh, and then this guy's gonna go for Lish. That's a natural 19 plus five. Um, so I assume that hits, so please make a constitution saving throw. That's an 11. All right, you're good. And then you take eight damage. Um, and I have to find the right tab, and now there's only one surviving ghoul left, but it's got this lovely 
piece of meat here that it just paralyzes and continues to paralyze. So it's going to take a bite attack. <laughs> um, my me. I mean, this, yeah, uh, that's 15. Um, so 17, I assume that hits. Yep, 17 is going to hit. All right. So you take eight damage. I don't know what's with these ghouls and rolling eights, but they're getting eight damage. It's but just here how we, here they we are. Um, <laughs> All right. All right. So it it's eating you now. <laughs> um, crunch, this is so crunch, sad. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Avery's turn. Your chart would come very handy right now. Is <laughs> B is going to use her spiritual weapon to attack this fellow. Um, that does not hit. But she's trying, and she knocked that one ghoul down to half its health at the beginning of the combat, so she's got that going for her. Um, Levy. Oh, boy. Um, okay. Okay. So she's gonna she's gonna can I move her uh over here? You can. Okay. If I you if for me to do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh the this is a spiritual weapon, it's not real. Okay, so. you know. And I think you mean Beha. Oh, sorry, Beha. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm gonna try and stab the fucking guest here. Roll to hit. Okay. And that's Nat one. That does not hit. <laughs> Oddly enough. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, and the guest kind of like looks over okay. her shoulder. You're like, dude, what? <laughs> um, do you do anything else on your turn? Just kind of makes it just a sad sound. Okay. He's, he's struggling. Oh, Demir. Um. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna be trying, try and smack him again with my axe. Right, um, that is a uh, 21 to hit. Yeah, that definitely hits. You got advantage cool. too for flanking though, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can get, no, 21. <laughs> okay. Um, that is uh Seven points of damage. All right. Uh, Not eight, but how, how do you want to do this? Ooh, um, I'm just going to bury my axe in its head. I guess. Mm. All right. Do you do anything else on your turn? Um. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, do I have any good? Um. Let's see. I'm going to kind of step this way if I can. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna gonna step up to that guy. Cool. He's very pretty, you can tell. Yep. <laughs> With this giant yep. ass tongue hanging out. Um, Beautiful. All right. Hey there, baby. Uh, hey, baby. Lish. Hey, baby. Ew. <laughs> what the um, hell, do? <laughs> yes. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
damn it, I don't think this one hits. Uh, um, I don't think a nine hits. Does not, I'm afraid. Back! I miss. Um, so... Mm -mm -mm. Well, you know, in our game of tic-tac-toe here, we got three X's in a row, so, you know. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I miss. That's my turn. (laughs) All right. Uh, Tobias, there's this dude and this dude. Uh, well... Because uh, there's people already around that one guy, I'm going to go for the dude that is next to Aaron. Okay. Oh. So I'm going to go diagonal a step just so I make sure I have a better shot. Um, I'm going to aim for that guy. Uh, nine. That does not hit. Damn it. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunate. Well, I guess that's all I can do. All right. Uh, Aaron, it's your turn. Yay. You're well, still paralyzed. Yep. Uh, you can roll <laughs> sa- You can roll another saving throw. You got That'd this. Be lovely. You can do it. That is a eleven. No. Yeah, oh. you're you're free. Woo. Yay! <laughs> and is that my whole turn, or do I get? Yep, that's your whole. That's your whole turn. All right, great. It's my uh, turn. The guest is going. Is its attention is still focused on. Uh, on Lish. So it's going to does a 20 hit. Yay. Um, Alright, so please make a saving throw. Okay. Yeah, you're good. You take 12 damage, though. Cool. Um, all right. Uh, and then this gentleman, he's still going to try and eat urine. <laughs> all right. Um, so uh, does an 18 hit? Yep. You take 11 damage. All right. Got it. All right, it's B's turn. Uh, B is going to send her spiritual weapon so that it's floating over here uh, next to the the stone. She's gonna use it to attack the gas. That's a natural two, so no. <laughs> Um, she is doing her best. It's the thought that counts. Uh, <laughs> Levy. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Uh, welcome to Whiff Town, I guess. Um, Whiff Town. I'm going to move here for a clear shot at this motherfucker. Uh, All right. And I'm going to cast Magic Missile. Instead of All trying right. to stab things. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a smart move. <laughs> That's an auto hit, so roll damage. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> my brain is stupid because it's 1d4 and it's three darts. Do I roll 3d4? Yes. Okay, thank you. Memory bad. Plus your add. Yeah. 
I love magic right. missile. <laughs> it's, right. it's super helpful. Mm-hmm. I the use magic missile. Every single dart, dart, yes. Huh? The plus one is to every single dart, right? Yes. Okay, yeet. Uh, so. That's 13 damage. Let's go. Nice. He's still up, but he's looking rough. Not me. All right. Yamir, you're having a bad day. So you had a bad day. Oh, no. (laughs) I'm going to try to smack it. Um... That is a 16. 16 hits, roll damage. Um, that is 6, 8, 10 points of damage. All right. He's not looking happy. Cool. Um, he didn't damage me last round, did he? No, he didn't. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, my cat just ran into the wall. <laughs> what? <laughs> cat is having I... a malfunction. <laughs> I love cats. They're so stupid. They're so Got a goddamn stupid. thing going on up here, buddy. <laughs> Com- head completely empty. Um, can I can I try and hit it again with my hand axe for a, the two weapon fighting thing? Is that a thing? I forgot if that's a thing. Uh, I don't you need a, a another action to be able to? Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. It just says um, when you take an attack action. An attack with a light melee weapon that you're holding with one hand, you can use a bonus action to attack with, oh, a different light melee weapon. I do not have that. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. I'll just mm-hmm. hit it once, and then yeah, that's me. All right. Fish. Ganache, ganache. I'm going to fucking just try and destroy this motherfucker. <laughs> Kill him. Oh. oh Kill. Shit. Fucking Christ. I'm paying for all my high rolls now. Uh. That's a seven. That's <laughs> not hit, oddly. Oddly. Somehow. Weirdly uh. enough. It was a all warning right. shot. It was a warning shot. Do you move or anything, or are you just chilling? Uh, now I'm going to stay like this. All right, Tobias. Okay. Um, going to shoot for the uh, ghoul that was uh, harassing Aaron again. All right. I believe. I didn't believe hard enough, lads. Oh no! Oh, oh no! The ten. And does not hit. <laughs> You're so close. Not this armor cheese. class is twelve. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. Um. Do you move or anything? Or are you chilling? Chilling there uh, next to me. I will remain where I am. This is so sad. All right. Uh, Erin, you're not paralyzed anymore. What's up with that? Great. So being not paralyzed, I am also going to rage. We finally rage in, boys. Oh, Lord, we rage rage in here. (laughs) Oh, Lord, we pissed. And... I Hold think on, I might just be punching it again. Okay. Uh, roll to hit. <laughs> uh, this is not the best thing. And I'm recklessly attacking as well. That is an 18. Yeah, that hits. 
Get so, ready to catch these motherfucking uh, hands. Since you're not a monk, uh, that just means that your uh, unarmed strike attack is one plus your strength modifier. All right. And since it's strength, I do get great on that. Mm-hmm. All right. So that's going to be five damage, I think. Ooh, he's looking real rough. And I'm just going to. I will not be useless! And just slam him. Got us into this fucking fight. I'm gonna take us out of it. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So it's the gas turn again, and this lady just ran up and hit him with her axe? What the fuck? Um, That's not cool. So that is... Rude. 18 plus 5, so 18 to hit. That hits. Okay, please make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Oh! Well, that's a 7. Oh, mm. You're paralyzed, and you take 7 damage, actually. Oh, boy. Okay, um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, it's... You, you get the screaming face now. Will we regret we not death warding Demir? We shall see. We'll yes. find out. The answer is yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> because I will make you regret it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the ghoul, it's his turn now. Um, he's at one pit hit point and he's not happy. So he's going to try and run away. Um, okay. So, if you want to take an attack of opportunity, yeah, you can. I'd love to. Punch it in its face. Roll the hit. All right. Um, trip him, trip him. Oh, nope, that was a natural one. <laughs> Find his laces together. Um, so he, let's see. I'm gonna have to to use my measuring tool here. Get the turnout order out of the way. Uh, he he running. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Oh lord, he running. No, he's he's up here. He's gonna try and go back into the bushes or the mausoleum. Maybe you don't know. That's not. And neither good. does he really. He's got a seven intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, it's B's turn. B's going to try and hit the gas again. That's a natural one. <laughs> Jesus, B, oh. sweetie, we appreciate the effort. He'd be rolling better if you were here. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> um, Levy. <laughs> Uh, this guy, he just yote. Alrighty, let's see. <laughs> Get him. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna move here. I'm, I'm going to pursue. Woo! Eat him. And, and you then gotta I'm make going use to cast that magic word. missile. Woo! I mean, you can roll for damage if you want, but that's an auto hit and he only has one hit point. I wanna know He's how fucking dead this guy is. Okay. Uh, that's, um... That's 11 damage. He's super fucking dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh my fucking god, he fucking dead. <laughs> he's, he's a smudge, I think. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not... He's not around anymore. <laughs> um, Go and uh, after All right. she says, fuck you. <laughs> uh... Demir, you're paralyzed. Uh, you can roll another saving throw. Um, that's a uh sixteen. Yeah, you're good. You're unparalyzed now. Cool, 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 cool. Nice. Does that take her whole action up though? So, yes, it does. Splish. Yes. How shoddy is this asshole looking in front of me? Um, I mean, he's not great, but he's not at death's door. He's not looking great because he's a ghast, but you know. <laughs> 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 
Well, I'm fucking pissed at this. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out what uh, might be good. Ugh, I'm so hesitant to always. Yeah, I'll just bite him again. God damn it. Mm. <laughs> All right, roll Character ahead. Character choices. Mm. <laughs> All right, that is. It is a 21 to hit, finally. Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. That is 12. 12 damage, and it needs to make it me a DC 13 strength save. All right. Uh, 16. So it saves against being knocked prone. Okay. He, I thought you said 12 damage, though. No. What did I say? Did I, I think I said 13? You said 12. Oh, 12? I think whatever. you said 12. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, he is looking real rough now. Cool. Um, and that's my turn. Tobias. You're up. Gonna shoot at the uh, remaining ghoul. All right. Or gas, or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, you're just Roll the hit. Die. 13. Uh, it meets, it beats. Roll damage. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Ooh, 13. How do you want to do this? Uh, <laughs> Avery, I really like your, like, <laughs> silent <laughs> celebration. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, Tobias is getting a little frustrated after missing three or four fucking shots on that one ghoul. Um, so he's going to take a deep breath, knock the arrow pull it back, holds it for just a moment longer than he was before, lets it fly. It's going to hit the gas, go through it, and then, like, just whiz past Demir by maybe, like, a uh, half a foot space in between. All right. Spicy. And that, my friends, ends, Red the, <laughs> ends the combat. What are you guys gonna do now? Uh, Levi's gonna run back. <laughs> she's gonna fucking back to Tobias as soon yeah, as she gets yeah. over, and she's just gonna... as Levi approaches, Tobias is gonna hold uh, uh, his hand out uh, for her if she wants to take. Oh yeah, she's she's grabbing that. She's she might be crushing your fingers a little bit. Mm. It's okay. It's probably the hand that he had. Uh, slit on his uh bow <laughs> so it's a little bloodied already Ouch. you see delicious hacking <laughs> spitting out fucking <laughs> disgusting crap gross <laughs> looking a little miserable <laughs> The flowers in your hair waters. just uh there are still little flowers in your hair, uh even though there aren't any uh any fairies. Uh and I'm, I'm still saying as a wolf though. <laughs> I'm I'm okay. Definitely... <laughs> okay. I got another 50 minutes of this shit. I am not wasting it. <laughs> hey, you know what? If you had the opportunity to be a giant puppy, wouldn't you? <laughs> Honestly. I mean, Live vicariously. Um, so, is anyone going to have a look around? Uh, I will. Uh, uh, if possible, Tobias would like to uh, retrieve some of his arrows. 
Yeah, Lucy right. will go with. Uh, you, you can retrieve the arrows, no prob. Samira is going to kind of poke around a little bit, kind of like trying to avoid the hacking up dog, because that's like really gross. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> And uh, kind of poke poke the bodies a little bit, see if there's anything worth <laughs> maybe pocketing if no one is watching. Mm-hmm. All right, roll investigation. Um, that is a uh, nineteen. Okay, so you actually do find something on this one. Uh, Ooh. you get the impression uh that uh. That one, well, that one you had seen came out of the mausoleum. Um, you get the impression that that gas had been in the process of eating something in there. And so, like, it had kind of taken bits of whoever was entombed there. Um, and among it, you find a, a, a pair of goggles. Goggles. Cool. Nice. Are we going swimming? Like, <laughs> and it's getting kind of, kind of uh, dark out at this point. By the way, I'm just letting you know. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm going kind of hobble over to. Can I check the other corpses while I'm at it, or is that the only yeah, one that I, has it? I kind of just assumed that you're checking cool. all the corpses. That was the only one with anything on it. The rest of them are wearing kind of like ragged bits of whatever they had been wearing when they were in, entombed. Uh, you get the impression that uh, the ones with the the dirt in them where the dirt had been churned, uh, those are the ones that the uh, ghouls and ghast had belonged to. And meanwhile, the gaping pits here, those are the ones they had dug up for the purposes of eating. Cool. Um, yeah, Demir's just gonna pocket the, um, pocket the goggles for a later date. Um, how bad and- does he look? How bad does Demir? Look, she's hobbling. She's hobbling. She's not looking great. She's uh seven hit points. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> okay. If I if I see, I'll like finish cleaning myself up, and I see Demir hobbling around. I am back as a person, and I'm kind of going over to her and kind of looking her over, and seeing just how bad she is. Uh, B is wandering back over to uh, to uh, Lotus and and Mela, uh, and she says something in sign language to them. And Lotus, meanwhile, his face kind of brightens and he starts signing back to her. <gasps> yeah, B yes! killed somebody. Yes, I'm so happy. This is great. So it's too bad you couldn't be here today. (laughs) We're having a conversation sign language now. Um, (laughs) I love Avery just throwing shade at us. (laughs) It's my job. (laughs) Just little sibling things. Yeah. But yeah, B's having a conversation in sign language now. Um, What are the rest of you guys doing? I am dropping, how many is this? Let's see here. I'm dropping 21 hit points into Demir. All right. Oh. Hi. I'm fine. Uh, Okay. Look fine. You know what they say, a kiss makes it better. (laughs) <laughs> he's he's got his hands on her cheeks and he's kind of just like doing a little thumb rub making sure she's okay Aww. she kind of like she kind of like initially like kind of put up her hands like no no i'm fine and then when he has her like has cupped her cupped her face in his hands she's just kind of like 
a little bit and leans into it just slightly. Um, so at this point, uh, Lottis and Mela come back in, um, and, uh, uh, Lottis says, uh, so your, uh, your friend there has told me that he managed to, to get rid of the undead. I'm quite appreciative for your help and, and as promised, uh, if you, if you need me to try to identify anything for you before you continue on your way, I would be happy to do so. Otherwise, um, what, once Amela and I return to, uh, to Opius, you shall find uh, us as allies at the temple. Um, <clears throat> well, we had a, uh, we had an amulet, uh, we'd run into some bandits, so we found, let's see, an amulet, uh, we already identified the wand, um, what else was there? Oh, I thought there were these goggles that we got at the bandits camp. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should identify those trail rations, see what they're really made of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you really don't um, want to know. Uh, so Lavas nods and is like, all right, if you tell me which one you'd like me to uh, to identify first, I would be glad to do so. It'll take me about a minute. Um, I'll offer the goggles. And that's a 22 I, on my deception for um, saying okay. that we found it at the bandit camp. Mm. Okay. Great. Um, Great. Um, so he takes the goggles and he kind of sits down in one of the more grassy areas of the graveyard. Um, and he places the goggles in front of him. Uh, and he starts to uh, kind of cast a spell a little bit. Um, there's his hands are glowing a little bit and there's little wisps of silvery blue what looks like moonlight going down from his hands into the uh into the goggles and after a minute he hands them back to you and he says uh these would uh, probably be more helpful to to someone who can't see in the dark uh, if you put these on, it, it, it makes it so that you can see in the dark without a, a torch. Oh. oh, that is useful. So you can add the goggles of night to your inventory. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, who had the It's not English? Tomb Raw obeying it if Beep. the guest did it first. Exactly. <laughs> Um, B has the amulet. Yeah. Uh, so B uh, kind of chirps and approaches him and uh, hands him the amulet. And he once again starts casting the uh, the spell. And for the record, uh, just to remind you guys, this is a small copper amulet with the imprint of an eye and a single star in the pupil. And he casts the spell um and then he he frowns and says uh, i'm sorry I, I don't know where you found this but this isn't magical at all it seems to, to just be a token of some kind i don't hmm. and then he kind of like picks it up and looks at it i i don't recognize the symbol on this either it, it, it would make me think of a a, an amulet to a god, perhaps, but I, I don't recognize the the god to whom this belongs. I don't think we have anything else, do we? I'm aware of. Um. Mela starts dragging out the the bodies of the the ghouls and gas and kind of just ditches them outside of the the graveyard. Um, 
She doesn't want them there. Uh, mm. And then what? Once that's all done, she starts trying to uh, refill the the holes, and she's she's doing this all while uh, her father's casting the the identify spells. Makes sense. Tobias uh, watches her for a few moments before um, heading over and assisting her with that. Well, thank thank you very much for your help. How far out, out are we from the city? Oh, you could uh, you could probably get there in about another another day or so. You'd, I'd recommend spending the the night, though. Uh, you're you're welcome to stay with Mela and I here in the graveyard, but uh, I know that's not for everyone. Demir's gonna look at the group. Oh, uh, when Tobias walks away, we, the lady kind of lets him go. Uh, he can drag her. Uh, she can come with. No, like, she holding hands and then go. only releasing him. Okay. Because she's she's like standing there, kind of muttering under her breath in like several languages, and it's definitely just like gibberish. Well, no, no, it isn't. Um, I, yeah, I I see no reason why we shouldn't keep up on that kind offer. You guys want to stay in a graveyard? I'm afraid I must warn you that I won't be very talkative since I will be focusing my energy onto the onto the spell. I don't want to spend the uh, dead things. Well, if you have a problem with it, we can always camp somewhere. Spot. How dark is it? Um, it's like five o'clock in the evening, dark at this point. There's like woods around the graveyard, right? So like, I don't want to be. Well, this is more of like a hedge. It's a hedge kind of protecting the graveyard rather than a fence. But it's like still like not maybe not a forest, but there's like wilds around. A little bit, not really. You're pr- you're close enough to the uh, uh, to the lake. Uh, otherwise, there's various sorts of farmland around. But um, maybe if you walked for a while and tried to look, you'd be able to find a grove. But uh, beyond that, it's mostly farmland out here. Well, farmland's fine enough for settling in for an evening. I mean, as far as I'm aware, we've all slept in a farmland. Sleep is a strong word. (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. Shall we make more progress before it's time to sleep? Yeah, let's at least start maybe the consensus all right well i appreciate your help very much of course i hope you to see you again all sometime and uh, may saloon guide your path thank you to you as well stay safe So I'll drag you all back to the world map. Tobias is going to, when map. they leave, uh, Tobias will take Levy's hand again and um, lead her on. And uh, as as on. you uh, start to to leave, uh, you see uh, uh, Mela kind of stand uh, near uh, near the entrance of the graveyard with her her halberd uh, and her dad uh, is is sitting down and he starts 
to get out different kinds of herbs and oil and incense in order to cast the spell. Let's do that. They go. They vibe. That man fucked an orc. <laughs> <laughs> that man fucks. <laughs> God. The, I just love the visual of like an old balding no man and his half orc daughter, who's clearly related to him by blood, just <laughs> I'm I'm sure you do love the image. Eh? <laughs> 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 You know, <laughs> if he wants to climb for that tall drink of water, who am I to, uh, who am I to We all die? have goals and ambitions in our lives. Some I actually <laughs> wrote a backstory for that guy, but none of you really pressed him for it. Please, <laughs> please tell later. me the life story. <laughs> I want to know how, man, how this man fucks. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's what I have down in my notes. Uh, Lannis was a lifelong follower of Saloon with the we'll duty tra again. travel yeah. from we'll, Opius we'll, we'll, to... <laughs> we'll find him again. We'll find him again. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's going to be in the city, so I mean, he's not... It'll be our reward for saying hello to him again. <laughs> Where he's, he turns and starts reciting his backstory. Hello! Hi! <laughs> Did you know I fucked an orc? Yup. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's just going to come out and give us his backstory the minute we talk to him again. It's fine. That's how you normally do, right? Right. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real with you guys here. Friends. Most of the NPCs I've created have some kind of backstory. If you ask. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty rough that we've either um, killed most of them or. <laughs> For uh, for the sake of brevity, though, I'll I'll say you guys find a place to camp at night, and if anyone wants to have any conversations, they can. Otherwise, I might call the session. All right. I might have to call early because I got some errands to run because we got a whole bunch of presents to give to some strangers. Oh yeah, <laughs> love that. Fucking Levy's um definitely not too hot. She's a. Uh, if people are milling around, she is actively avoiding them, and she is muttering under her breath and switching between um, Quarry, Infernal, and Elvish, just at a rapid pace. And it just, if you uh, if you understand any any of these languages, it's nonsense. What like she's saying nonsense? shit like just coconut, but it, like she's saying a smoothie recipe for some reason, like. <laughs> It doesn't mean shit. <laughs> Probably when they find a place to camp and stuff, Tobias is gonna have her sit down, you know, safe distance away, but like not too far, so he can kind of keep an eye on her and he's probably just gonna put his cloak around her shoulders. Uh, she resists at first. Like straight up. Like she, like she tries to- Like she tries to- her arms up. That's fine. And he's just gonna quietly set the cloak beside her. You can use it if you want. She doesn't show any sign that she's comprehending what you're saying. She's just cowering. He will back away and give her space. Well, she'll we'll kind of be curious and kind of be keeping an eye out. Uh, and if it goes on for like a long time without kind of any sign of her resolving how she's feeling, he'll kind of come over somewhat tentatively. She's like, looking at you highly suspiciously. How are you doing? She just kind of blinks. Her eyes are too, way too wide. And she is physically shaking. He'll kind of go over to her and kind of crouch, you know, not too close, but crouch in front of her, kind of curiously looking her over. Hey, 
kind of reaction? Uh, she's cowering, but you seem to be far away enough that she's not actively flinching. He kind of holds his hand out to her a little bit. Oh, she definitely, like, flinches away from that. You give me your hand. I want to see something. Uh, she shakes her head and says, uh, no, several times in, uh, Quarry, Infernal, and then Elvish. Hmm. kind of watches a little bit longer, sees if she kind of calms down at all, with his hand still kind of outreached. Uh, roll persuasion against her insight here. Let's see. That's a 17. All right, yeah, she kind of settles down. He's still offering his hand. Very, he takes it. Pa- very patiently. And uh, he kind of puts his other hand over hers and says, may I, may I see if this helps you at all? And his hand just kind of glows softly, a little chill running through your hand. Uh, she nods and she kind of reaches for the cloak that Tobias left behind and just kind of like Hold it to her. Uh, and he's going to cast Lesser Restoration on you. Yeet. Uh, Ruth, that can take away a, a level. All right. Yeah, she comes back down. And she is no longer babbling or cowering. <laughs> she just Yay! looks very disoriented and very tired. And he's just kind of like watching for a reaction and just seeing how she's doing. Her her shoulders definitely like slump, like she's relaxing, like she's mm-hmm. relieved. And then yeah. she, instead of looking like wild eyed and terrified, she, she gradually looks more and more just like more aware, but she's definitely like still not all there. And she's bit, is, like obviously very tired. Mm-hmm. He kind of where he's got his hand, just kind of pats her hand a little bit and uh, lets her hand go. Uh, she quietly says, Thank you. Um, Jameer has been watching this um, interaction closely. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> um, it, if anyone has been caring to notice uh anytime lish interacts with any of the other party members like demir is watching like a hawk (laughs) (laughs) yep (laughs) and um when uh when he kind of pulls back a little um she's actually going to um kind of reach out a hand for him when Lish uh, gets up or um, pulls away from Levy and stuff, if uh, Tobias will actually murmur a thank you for helping her. Yeah, he doesn't say anything, just kind of smiles. And if he notices Demir's reaching for him, he's kind of <laughs> a little, <laughs> that takes his attention pretty quickly. (laughs) Uh, Now that she's kind of settling down, uh, Levy does go back to Tobias and and like at a relative distance within arm's reach, but not any closer. Uh, She uh, gives him his his cloak back and kind of just nods shakily at him and tries to give him a smile, but it looks a little more like a grimace. And then she goes and sets up her bedroll and kind of turns herself in for the night. She's done. Lish is standing over Demir, looking curious. There. She's going to like kind of pull on his cloak or his uh, 
coat and like kind of try and get him to sit down. <laughs> He'll sit down. And she's going to lean against him a little bit. That was really gross. Do you think I enjoyed it? <laughs> No, I mean, I assume not. That was just really gross. Usually I would just sit out some of these fun activities that you put yourself through. You, this group you found yourself with, this time, Demir, it seems they need all the help that they can get. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Demir is going to switch into Sylvan uh, and say, you're not wrong about that. (laughs) I'm cold. Kind of freezes a little bit at that. (laughs) Um... (laughs) Yeah, you can't change the weather. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, he, he will uh, kind of smile a little bit and be just like, "What you can't can't take a little bit of a chill." Just, uh, never mind. And Zamir's gonna let him go and then just kind of go back to setting up her tent. <laughs> he kind of, he kind of, as she gets busy, he kind of comes up close to her again, tuck, kind of like tucking in behind her head a little bit and asks, Do you want to practice a little bit more tonight? Yeah. I can't wait. He will go and sit and bide his time. <laughs> um, like she kind of blushed a little when he asked her about practicing. Um, and she's going to go finish setting up her tent but like kind of take a little bit about it like she's kind of dragging her feet but then she goes over to um lish once it's all done and just kind of sits or stands next to him and is just like okay so show me that that trick again he kind of grins and all of a sudden he vanishes and you see him about 30 feet off in one of the farm fields <laughs> and uh, he's just kind of like laughing <laughs> and... um i am going to cast misty step to step over to him all right um 30 feet away. And uh, just kind of move a little bit out of range of everybody and practice some spell work. All right. Maybe not a divorce after all. (laughs) (laughs) Is there anything else that anyone would like to accomplish that evening? That's it for me. I'm a good. Yep. I'm good. All right. So as the evening draws to a close, uh, some of you practicing spells before falling asleep. Some of you sleeping not so restfully, perhaps. In case of Levy. Um, you guys all Are eventually... <laughs> eventually find your rest one way or another uh knowing that you probably 
arrive in Oquius tomorrow. And that's where we'll call session. Yay! Spicy! Plan, guys. Space until you go unconscious and have to actually able to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Levy failed all of her fucking checks for Aww. like her triggers and shit. <laughs> that entire in game day. I just. <laughs> she was having a bad fucking time. <laughs> Thanks for playing though, guys. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Is it Sunday was, yet? Oh. <laughs> I was actually really proud of that graveyard map. It was good. It, not. it was good. Yeah. It was nice. I, I made that myself. I saw that and I was like, oh, sick. <laughs> That's actually a really um, good graveyard map. Thank you. I'm like, okay, this, this website does not have anything that resembles gravestones. Or mausoleums, so I'll just make do with what I can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it worked out really well. Yeah. It, yeah, it looked really good. So thank you. And it was like navigable and everything. Like it was it was a good map. Thanks. Yeah. Very good yeah. map. It's one of my oh, favorite man. ones I've made so far, honestly. I, I think it after the uh map I made for the uh the town, I made this one next and then I ended up making the bandit hole. So like <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. We're traversing I'm really, them backwards. Yeah. I'm hmm. I'm really glad you guys decided to go that way around the lake. Cause I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> but I didn't get to use this map. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. Dude. All right. Um, All right. I'll stop sharing and I will post the recording once Zoom and Google Docs get their shit together later GG, on. GG, guys. GG. 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 Yeah. Talk to you guys next next game, I guess. I mean, I'll send memes and stuff, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.